Hi, my name is Ashley Vig, and I am a second year 4HBC ambassador. Today, I will be doing an appreciative inquiry interview with Amanda Bretain of BCA. She is the Director of Communications and Marketing. Hi, Amanda. I will actually start by introducing myself. My name is Ashley Vig, and I am a second year 4HBC ambassador. So essentially my job is to be the face of 4-H and to share the incredible program that we put on. So my job is to speak to sponsors like yourself and um, yeah, go about speaking to people, public speaking, um, letting people know what the 4-H program is, what we have to offer and um, getting more people involved essentially. Cool. Whereabouts are you located, Ashley? I'm actually, I live in Rock Creek, BC. Oh, yeah. We just did a, a tour with the Rock Creek 4-H group yesterday. Oh, very cool. I actually yeah. wanted to come down, but I was working, sadly. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you guys were down at the fairgrounds there? No, we did a virtual barn tour. So oh. uh, we zoomed in. Oh, very cool. Mm-hmm. All right, Amanda, so I guess we could probably get started with our interview. Sure. Um, so, and I, I want to say I really appreciate this time with you tonight, and obviously it's six o'clock, so thank you for taking time out of your evening. No so problem. I'll start, I will start with my first question here. So, as you reflect on your career, can you tell me the story of a high point a time you felt most alive, most impactful, or most successful in terms of contributing to your community? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I have worked in various communication roles um, in various organizations, everything from healthcare to banking to forestry and, and now agriculture. Um, but I think the best parts for me are when I can actually connect my industry to the public. Um, so when I am working with my farmer ambassadors, for example, and we go out to fairs like the P&E and the IPE, and we can actually get people who, like, we talk to people who have never seen a live chicken. <laughs> and um, it, it is incredible to be able to show them you know, this is, this is a hen and this is how hens lay eggs and this is a real live farmer and they get to ask all kinds of questions and it's just an incredible feeling for me <laughs> to know that I'm the person who connects the public with the farmer. So yeah, that's, that's, it always gives me a real high. So this summer, of course, is really disappointing because we're not doing that, but we'll get through it. Wow, that's, that's actually really cool that you say that because I can relate to that 100% because just like being a 4-H ambassador, a lot of people that I speak to think that the program is all about um, just agriculture, but I go ahead and I speak to them and let them know, no, kids can do a lot of other things. So I really appreciate the way that you put that because it puts it into perspective for all of us trying to share an industry, right? That's great. Yeah, we need more 4-H in the Lower Mainland, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, especially because all kids can essentially do it now. It's not mm -hmm. just a culture, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I will move on to our second question here. So, thinking about your company's contribution to the community, how do you feel that supporting 4-HBC has helped you to make a difference? Hmm. Uh, well, BC Egg has supported 4-H. Um, I've only been there four years, but I know they supported 4-H before that. Um, our farmers think of it as, as growing the next crop of farmers. Um, so it's an investment in the future. It's an investment in the community. Um, I'm sure you know the stats as well as I do. Something like 90% of people in Canada have no connection anymore to farms uh, or farmers. Um, so we're, we're talking to like a really urban population. So supporting 4-H is a way of increasing people's knowledge of agriculture and, and 
for me, it's where your food comes from. That's an important message. Wow, that's very cool. Very, very cool. Um, essentially, we're very relatable on both of our industries here. So mm -hmm. that's really awesome. So I'll uh, move on to our third question here. So what is one piece of advice you would give to young leaders to inspire their future? Huh. Um, really stay involved. Um, every industry has uh, uh, a group for young people, um, whether it's a professional association or, or things like 4-H. Um, and to stay involved in that and, and don't hesitate to ask uh, for like informational interviews like, like what we're doing now or, or with a farmer or whatever your, wherever your career wants to take you. Um, I have found that most people are really interested in helping young people so um, try and find a mentor or at least hook up with a few people to learn what they do and how you can move your career. First of all, you need to figure out where your career, you want your career to go, and then you can figure out how to move in that direction. Absolutely. It's very important to have a mentor now. And I find a lot of young people have a hard time finding a mentor, so they almost feel a little bit lost. So it's really mm. refreshing for you to talk about that because I feel like young people of today need a little bit more mentorship to find what they want to be in the future. Yeah. I think networking is important. Um, maybe you don't know somebody who can be your mentor, but you probably know somebody who knows somebody who could be your mentor. Um, so yeah, it's, it's important to stay in touch. Um, it's probably easier in a smaller community where you know a lot of people or you have connections to a lot of people than if you live in the big city of Vancouver but I think it's still possible. So did you have a mentor going into the BC Ag um, part of your career? Um, no, I'm, I would be, I'm old, I'm old. So <laughs> I would be a senior person um, already. I had mentors in my early career for sure that absolutely steered me in the right direction and, and made me who I am. Um, now I'm focusing on, on mentoring other people, um, and I love to do it. So that's, that's where I am at my career. That's really cool. I really appreciate this chat. And if you have anything else that you'd like to say, um, please go ahead and, um, say it. Um, uh, this is the first interview, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, I really appreciate uh, the opportunity to talk to the 4-H kids. Um, always really impressive. Most of you guys know way more than I do about agriculture. <laughs> um, so it's, it's lots of fun. And, and any, anytime you guys need want a tour, I'm there to, to help you make it. So. Okay. I will, um, I will follow the BC egg page and I will go ahead and share whatever you guys have going on and then Hopefully Wonderful. get some more kids involved into that as well. Sounds awesome. So and I, I would really like to thank you for taking the time to meet with me today and sharing your insights of the industry. So on behalf of BC, 4HBC, I'd like to express our gratitude for, our, um, for your ongoing support of 4H and your help in developing the leaders of tomorrow from the youth of today. Oh, thank you really so nice. much. Thank you so much for your time. And um, I look forward to maybe meeting you one day and uh, potentially having another mentor. That sounds awesome. Yeah, definitely keep in touch.